Hey guys, so I went to back, excuse me, I went back to Burlington the following day. So if you guys saw, I posted a video, it was late Monday night because my Wi-Fi was being ridiculous, but it was a very big Walmart, um, oh my God, Burlington haul. It was the first week of reopening of uh, stores in Massachusetts. So check out that video, but I ended up going the following day because I had to do an exchange. I grabbed a 1X and a pair of pants instead of a three. So while I was there, of course, you find you start seeing other things. So this time I didn't really focus on clothes. I bought plenty if you guys saw the video when I was there. But I did kind of go into the accessory section because I was really curious. All the accessories were 25% off. And then I grabbed a few little snacks. As you're waiting at the register, they always have that stuff there so you can't help it. So this little um, scrunchie I'm wearing right now, I find it so cute. It has a little bow attached to it. It does have like little wiring to keep it up. Oh, you can even bend it a certain way if you want. You can feel the wiring. But there's no wiring in the actual scrunchie, just in the bow. So that is something I bought from Burlington. It came in a three-pack. I can't see to find the pack. Oh, there it is. So it came like this with a pink and a gray. I just thought the colors were really cute though it says you know the comparable value was seven their price was 3.99 and then i got 25 percent off so i believe i paid 2.99 i believe it was a dollar off but um uh, yeah so for i mean for three scrunchies it's not bad it's basically like a dollar a scrunchie but these you know i know you can get like three scrunchies at dollar tree but they're probably not the greatest quality i mean you guys know i love dollar tree but there are certain things I just buy from other stores. I actually really liked some of this quantity of Dollar Tree the other day, but I found it, I was like putting my hands and I found they weren't stretching enough. I mean, it all depends on what kind of hair you have, but I have a lot of hair. So now I have a cute little gray one and a cute little pink one. And as you got, there is wiring in here, like I said, just in the bow. So it kind of forces it to stay up or you can kind of bend it any way you want to. And then I grabbed this one, same exact brand. Value at seven. Their price was three ninety nine. I paid two ninety nine. I'm not a huge fan of this color. I mean, I could definitely see myself wearing it in a fall. It's definitely a fally color, this like rusty brown. But it came with the two blacks, so I figured I would get it. I mean, really, it's a scrunchie. It's gonna hold my hair, even if I only use this for when I'm home. I'm still getting value out of it. So that was the scrunchies, and then I grabbed these these are the ones that aren't supposed to re leave like the rings but i love the feeling of these like um if you guys have seen i know they've been really popular people have even been wearing them around their wrist almost look like a bracelet too they're almost like i don't know if they're plastic uh but they if they either way they feel like a plastic it's like a plastic or a vinyl or something like that these feel like soft rope like if you can even see let me see if it focused there's almost like a weave to it like it has that rope weave it doesn't want to focus but anyway so it was $3.99 I paid $2.99 I got a white I got a cute sparkly silver a very cute muted pink a very cute mauvey pink this goldish copper copper and then like another white so for you get six so that's not bad at all for even the regular price of $3.99. Then I paid $2.99. Now these are those plasticky ones. If you can like kind of tell the difference in like the texture. But they have like a smaller loop to them. So I figured I would just give them a shot. Uh, because the plasticky ones have the big loops like this. But they just feel like a plastic where this feels more like a kind of like a soft rope. And then this one is that plastic but it's a very small loop. And same thing, this one comes with three, and they're all kind of very muted, like pinks and nudes, except this like very nice bright one right here. These were actually Jessica Simpson, same thing, $3.99. Pretty sure it took a dollar off for me, and I paid $2.99. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at the receipt right now. And then this was super cute. I actually have a cheetah headband from Torrid, but of course I gravitate towards it because I love cheetah and i but then when i went to feel it i actually felt that it is soft if you feel this like the one from tori it's almost like a scarf material that silky scarf this is like a very soft fuzzy material i feel like it's gonna feel so good on my head i love the cute little knot when my hair is down this is going to look so adorable and i love cheetah print i actually have a cheetah print mask so this will look super cute it was 
valued at nine, which I believe because I want to say the ones at Torrid, but Torrid is more money, was like ten dollars. I think I only got it because they were doing like buy one, get one half off. Um, but their valued was at four ninety nine. So right here, Leopard Knot, I paid $3.75. That is a good, good price for that. And then I grabbed these little clips as well, $5.99. Uh, it took off $1.50, so I paid $4.49. I just find them so cute. They have like a rose gold to them, and then it's like a leaf print with all these little silver gems. Uh, especially in the summer, I tend to do more updos. It's just really friggin' hot. And I have a lot of hair. I might even be giving myself a trim soon. You guys might see it on a video. So I thought this would be just kind of cute. To kind of just dress up. A bun. I don't know if I would necessarily do it with a ponytail. But if I have a cute knot bun. And then I can kind of just pin this. Or even if I do have my hair down. But I kind of want to pin it out of my face. I thought this was a very very nice for $5.99. And then I even paid for something. Because they just... They are very, very strong. I can tell you that right now. I'm even having like a hard time opening them. So at least you know once it's in place, it's going to stay. It has those little like alligator teeth. And it's just like really nicely done. I love the rose gold. And I love, love, love the sparkly gems. And then I grabbed, if you guys saw my last Burlington haul. Oh, I actually didn't show it in the Burlington Hall. That's because it was a gift for somebody. So I didn't want to show it. But I had grabbed this. Um, I put it in the girl I, I made a basket for. I put it in her basket because she loves this kind of stuff. At least from what I see on her phone. We work together. I mean, I haven't seen a while because we've been out of work. But she, she always has something like this in the back of her phone. She had one for a little while that looked like a diamond. It was so cute. One of the kids was obsessed with it. So I got her. Hers is marbled as well, but it has like pinks and blues in it. And I just got myself the plain like gray and white marble. And then for the snacks. Can never have too much of those. No. <laughs> I grabbed this. This sounded so good. One, I love Godiva. Godiva is delicious. And just, it is chocolate lava cake. Do you guys see that? Dessert truffles. So it's supposed to be like a chocolate with like a melty chocolate on the outside. It literally says dark chocolate with a dual filling of molten chocolate over decadent dark chocolate ganache. So it was $4.99. And oh my God, that smells so good. And I believe I only paid $3.75 with the 25% off. So you get 7.2 ounces. I mean, obviously, you guys can tell this is empty, but this is thick. But there's a decent amount in there. And, you know, it's Godiva. That's mostly what, uh, and then I bought two Ghirardelli. I absolutely love caramel, and I love sea salt caramel. And these weren't that bad. They were $3.49. They are smaller ounces. It's five ounces, these bags. So I paid, let's see if I can find it very quickly. I will tell you. So I paid two sixty two. That's not bad at all for Ghirardelli. Um, this one it says from bean to bar. Our commitment to ultimate quality and a luscious filling. It definitely looks luscious. So this one is dark chocolate with sea salt caramel, oh, like peanut butter and caramel are my weaknesses, especially like sea salt caramel. It's like I love chocolate covered pretzels. It's just that like sweet salty goodness in my mouth and then oh i might even treat myself to one when i get off this video and then this one is just a fudge caramel so that sounds really good i love just plain caramel as well it's oh caramel is delicious i don't think i gotta say anything else and then if you guys have seen any of my videos i've mentioned my, before that my boyfriend is absolutely obsessed with sour candy if you guys saw my burlington haul from monday i got him the sour gummy bears they were out of this world. When I went the next day, I was going to buy like four more bags and they were completely out. I I have the bag. We only ate like half so far. I am going to look up that brand name on Amazon because I will be buying it from now on. It is one of the best sour candies I've had because it actually, it even says, it says start sour, stay sour. It doesn't like turn sweet. It's not overly sour to you like, ugh, but it's not, you taste sour. Because a lot of sour candies, they don't even, they're not even as, like they say sour, but they're not even that sour. Unfortunately, like I said, I didn't have it. But if you guys are interested, definitely watch that video. So then I, I did, I was like, whatever, I'll find something else for him. So I found this Tangy Zangy Twisters. It says sour wild berry. So we will have to try and see how sour it really is. 
but it was $2.79, so I paid $2.09. I took 70 cents off. So I will definitely, it says made with real fruit juice. I'll give it a try. Hopefully it's as good as the other one. If not, candy's candy. He likes all sour candies. I just know we really have liked that brand that I bought on Monday. And then something, I guess, just to be a little healthier. Um, I love dark chocolate. If you can tell, these Ghirardellis are dark chocolate. The Godiva's dark chocolate. Actually, no, I like this one's milk chocolate, but this one's dark chocolate. But dark chocolate is better for you. And this one is dark chocolate cranberries. So, um, yeah, you can have like a whole one-fourth of a cup and it's only 180 calories. So that's not bad at all. We have versus these. Let's see, out of curiosity. You can have two squares for 150. So you definitely get more calorie wise. But I'm pretty good. Like this bag will last me weeks. I probably have maybe like a square of this one, a square of this one, and then that's it. And then in a few days, I'll do the same thing again. These those bags do last me quite a while. You guys should see how long my Halloween candy lasts me. I know probably people probably think I'm lying because my body size. But I'm telling you, I can even show you guys. Let's see if you can can you see that candy? right there that was from a dollar tree haul i showed you guys like last week we haven't even opened it yet so we're just working on candy that's already opened like you know candy lasts long in this house but that's basically it for my um small burlington haul i do still have to film the burlington clothing haul um like i mentioned in a video i just uh filmed you guys are gonna see this shirt i'm filming three back-to-back -back videos right now uh, I felt bad. I've been trying to post Monday through Friday. I've been really good at doing that, but I wasn't able to post Tuesday and yesterday. I had kind of a family emergency and I had to babysit like all day, which I have no issue with. I've been home a lot. So it's been kind of nice. It was kind of nice to have some company. Um, I tell people all the time I have the summer off if you need anything at all. You know, I know it can, it's been tough for parents. It's been tough for me being alone. But I, you know, sometimes I'm like, God, I wish I had kids right now to be around. But I also know that can be challenging in its own right. So, you know, it's all about balance. And, you know, sometimes they need time for themselves. Just like sometimes I want to be around people. So I know some people have been questioning it because it's like quarantine. But it's like, you know, mental health's important. I'm just, you know, I was not in a good spot the second half of March and all of April. So getting out a little bit has truly helped. You know, you just got to be careful how you do it. You know, we got to continue on with our lives. But... Anyway, so I am now trying to get ahead and film back-to-back -back videos. To I'm usually really good at it. And of course, this week I didn't have any anything pre-filmed, and then everything. That's how it always is. And then everything kind of just landed on top of each other. But guys, keep watching. I mean, if this is what you're into, I do plenty of hauls, and I'm gonna do plenty of unboxings. I'm waiting for my cause box to come in, my Fab Fit Fun box to come in um i ordered an ipsy box that's gonna come in for july i did add-on sales for fab fit fun and for uh the cause box i actually really 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 love the cause box add-ons i was expecting more from fab fit fun and i actually liked cause boxes more i ordered tons of stuff i cannot wait for it to come and i cannot wait to show you guys so if that is what you're into if you're into hauls if you're into unboxings you know help me help me out subscribe comment like i like to interact with you guys so i you know i always comment back and um that's basically it just uh you know i noticed uh because i do look at my youtube analytics 80 percent of the people that watch me are not subscribed to me so just you know this way my videos just show up on your news feed if I, what i do is what you're into if you're into it like i said subscribe all right guys be safe